In today's video, we're going to go over sockets and ports and how to uh, transmit data over a network, over the internet, uh, between uh, different uh, pieces of code or different machines. In this case, today we're going to uh, have a local host, so everything will be uh, sort of simulated on the same machine in the same uh, environment, but uh, this lesson can be applicable to uh, talking to machines or programs um, on different machines. You just have to uh, dig a little bit deeper. Just gonna give you a surface overview. You know, this stuff is uh, really applicable to uh, the final exam. However, uh, it's good to know. And it uh, in moving forward in your uh, programming career, you're going to need to know. So. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first things first, we're going to have to import uh, the socket library. So uh, if you read um, the uh, the module intro, uh, th you'll understand what a socket or and uh, what a port is. Um, they're basic, you know, basically it's a uh, internal endpoint uh, for sending or receiving data within a computer network. Um, but uh, you could think of it as a communication node, right? And it's a channel in which we send uh, send a, a, a term or a data uh, between um, between machines and between different pieces of code. Now, conversely, uh, a port is an external endpoint uh, uh, for a node. Um, and uh, the, the term socket is also used for an internal endpoint for a local um, uh, local process, so not over a network. So that's what we're going to be doing today is an internal processing uh, uh, network. But it can be definitely used, um, ex uh, used externally as well. So all these tool sets we're going to go over today. All right, so first things first, we have to import. You have to import socket, and it's already a part of your your uh, Python library. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do today is um, create a variable, and we'll call that variable, let's say, um, socket self, and we'll set that equal to socket dot uh, socket and we'll call up uh, within this method socket dot af net af net and socket dot sock stream all right so all we're saying here is uh, af dot i n e t is basically saying association family of uh, network addresses, right? And um, that's uh, that's key and uh, refers to addresses that from from the internet, IP addresses specifically. Um, and then sock stream is just another uh, another way of uh, another method, basically saying we're gonna use a transmission control protocols you know it as tcp so these are these are uh these are the the methods we're going to use uh to uh, to create and to uh send data okay and also we'll it's a sock itself we'll bind it uh and we'll when we use the bind method we're talking about creating a tuple and the reason why we used a tuple is because the bind function, uh, the bind method, uh, it assigns a uh, IP address and a port number uh, to whatever we're trying to, to to get, right, or whatever data we're trying to send, right. So uh, we'll here we'll say socket dot get host name. And all this does is get the 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 IP address, the underlying IP address of the system I'm running on, right? 
and then uh, we're going to assign a port number of one, two, three, four. All right. So uh, we're going to use whatever whatever the IP address is for my machine, and then assign a port number one, two, three, four. It could be any uh, four digit uh, integer. Um, really, if you wanted to, get, if you want to get a little bit in depth into it, it's a sixteen bit. Uh, identifier so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this in another uh, course if you continue on into uh, with your programming uh, your programming uh, lessons so uh, so we'll set the the port number as one two three four IP addresses whatever the underlying uh, underlying uh, uh, IP addresses for my machine. So here we'll go ahead and uh, do uh, socket that self un underscore self, and uh, we'll say listen, and we'll listen for five. So what this is saying is uh, this is the, the socket file store acting as a server, right? And it's it's going to listen for connection requests and these connection requests are, are going to come in and stack up and it will have a queue of five a, a whopping number of five connections uh, into this uh this uh this uh this virtual server right so we'll go down here and we'll use a while wow statement so we'll say uh while true, we're saying while the the uh, uh, while the server is connected, uh, we'll say we'll create a couple of different variables. So we'll say the client socket and address is equal to socket self dot accept. And then we'll go ahead and say print. And f string is just saying we're going to format the string. Instead of using plus signs, we're going to use, uh, we're going to say format a string. You'll see why. This, this will say connection from, and we'll use the curly brackets. Uh, so left curly bracket and right curly bracket address. So whichever address is coming in, uh, we'll say has been established, All right? And then we'll say client socket dot send bytes. Welcome to the server. And then the server will be formatted, formatting the strings in UTF-8. And uh, let's just review what we, what exactly we did here. So basically what all this is saying is, you know, we're going to have this client socket variable, which is a client object. And we're going to say, hey, uh, we're going to basically listen for ex any type of connection. And once uh, we do connect connection, we're going to establish like, hey, we have established a connection from this address, right? So we're making a client object, uh, a, a client object uh, to hold, um, hold the client, uh, the client socket uh, information. And then we're going to print out that information in a formatted string, printing out its address. And on the second line, uh, all we're saying here is our local instance of the, the client socket. Uh, we're going to send them bytes. This could be string or a byte or what have you. And on the client side, we're going to say, welcome to the server. And here we're saying what type of bytes these are. This is UTF-8. 
and uh, that's just basically saying it's Unicode. It's a it's a standard format uh, for Unicode or Unicode transformation format. And eight means it's the eight bit values. So, and uh, all right. So now we'll go go, go ahead and uh, create a another Python uh, Python file, and we'll name it client. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and import uh, socket. And then we're going to use this, this uh, the same nomenclature. We're going to say uh, socket self. And it'll set it equal to socket.socket. And we're going to pass in the same arguments as socket dot if ion internet and then socket dot sock stream. And here we're going to um, ask the ask to connect to the host server. And or host IP address and the host port. So say socket that self, socket underscore self, it's equal to, or I'm sorry, socket self dot connect, we're trying to call the method. Um, and inside of that, we'll say socket dot get host name. Uh, so we'll connect to the IP address internally, and then we know the port number is one, two, three, four, right? And then we'll say uh, we want to create a local variable message, and uh, we'll say socket dot self socket underscore self dot receive. And here we're going to is uh, input how big of chunks we want to stream data in. And we'll say 1024. That should be, or we'll do 2000. Should be way more big enough uh, to <laughs> for what we're about to do today. And here we'll print message, message, and then we'll decode again into uh, UTF, uh, UTF-8. And that's just the format that what we're using here to communicate between these two, these two programs. And uh, oh, this is not defined as a message, not message. And so he, from here, we'll go ahead and go here and go down to the terminal area to uh, call these uh, call these uh, programs initialize our server. And we're going to use the terminal uh, or the command prompt uh, located inside PyCharm since it's consistent across both Mac OS and also um, and also uh, Windows machines. And we'll go ahead and call sockets dot py and I have an error here it looks like oh, I did not properly initialize my tuple here or write my tuple forgot parentheses always important we'll call that again and we've initialized that uh, the server we'll go ahead and call client.py and here we go welcome to the server welcome to the party um all right so hope that was useful just a, a little piece of knowledge to arm you as you move forward in your experience as we close out the semester and uh, uh hope you continue uh, moving forward with Python or any other programming language. Um, we just learned the basics here. Uh, there are a lot, there's a lot more to learn. 
Um, and I hope you, uh, uh, you found this course useful.